Thank you so much for joining. My name is Tamar. Today's offering is low impact breath to movement activity. As always, take what you need, leave what you don't. And feel free to make it your own. Uh, modifications will be offered along the way. But what would be needed in order to modify would be a couple yoga blocks, either a sturdy bench, or you could use a couch where either the cushions are on the front side or even the back side. Another great resource to incorporate could be wall space, depending on where you are in your body today. All right, I'll walk us through three exercises. Uh, first setup will be nice and slow, technique and, and cue, and then we'll take a breath to movement, five reps to 10 reps. Uh, so I'll take us through one set and then feel free to make it your own, whether you wanna make this your warm up, a cool down, an exercise in itself, live your life. <laughs> uh, we'll start with some wrist warm ups because we are gonna be on our wrists. So come into a tabletop position and take your, looking at your right hand without forcing, spin it as far to the right as you can. Do the same thing with the left. Spread your fingers here. Option to stay still or maybe you softly shift your hips back towards your heels. Remember to breathe. Stay like this or maybe you find little movements, taking circles in one direction. And then when you feel ready, switch it out for the other way. Remember to breathe and relax your face. All right, now bring your fingers in towards one another. Rock side to side. Beautiful. All right, if you need anything else, please take what you need. Otherwise, let's begin. We're gonna start in a high plank position, so always an option as well. If you have a mat that you're using, you can fold it over if you need a little extra cushion here for your hands. Otherwise, round your hands down. Spread your fingers, your wrists come shoulder distance apart and the wrists line underneath your shoulders. Always an option here to bring your hands onto blocks. Finding a little elevation might be great for your body today. All right, tuck your toes, lengthen your legs behind you, reaching through your heels, so straightening the legs. Gentle tuck of the pelvis, engage your core as if you're about to cough or laugh. Slight dome of the shoulder blades, lengthen the back of the neck. Again, relax your face here and steady your breath. Always an option if you need to come down to modified plank, drop onto your knees. Be sure your knees are past your toe, rather your hips. So you're not in a tabletop position, more modified plank. All right, come back to your plank. If you're not there, hold it here for one more breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, find a hovering table. So the knees and the shins hover above the ground. To modify this, you can always just rest your knees and your shins here. Remember, the first one is a slow setup. You've got this. All right, so here we are. If your knees are resting, that's great where they can stay. Otherwise, from hovering table, one more breath in. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your hips, bring your chest towards your thighs. Bend two knees here or pedal one at a time. Always an option to come down to your knees if your shoulders are feeling it. All right, find stillness. We'll take that breath to movement. Here we go. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, bend your knees, hovering table. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, bend your knees, hovering table. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Two more. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend your knees, hover. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Last one, inhale, plank. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful, come onto your knees. Walk your hands towards your thighs. Lengthen your spine. Take a few breaths. Relax your face if you need to roll your wrists here. Bring the backs of your wrists together and then find little circles. Maybe going out and then reverse when you're ready. All right, so next on our list is going to be going back to the high plank position. Always an option here, depending upon your body. Um, you can use your wall space. Um, we're going into mountain climbers. Again, great option for blocks. Or if you have the couch, come back to the couch, the back side of it, lengthen your body so you still find a plank position. Slight tuck of the pelvis, legs are engaged, little dome of your shoulders, same setup. Just a slightly different position. 
just makes it more accessible depending on your body. Always an option to have a deep climb if you're looking for a real challenge. <laughs> anyway, so finding our plank position. So hands are shoulder distance apart, wrists align under shoulders, spread your fingers, grip your mat, lift your knuckles. Back of the neck is long, gaze is down and out, gentle dome of the shoulders, slight tuck of the pelvis, strong glutes, strong legs. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee towards your chest. Inhale, lengthen the leg. Exhale, knee towards the chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, keep this up. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, mindful climbers. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to the chest. 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 Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Come on to your knees. Walk your hands towards your legs. Roll up. You can keep those mindful or pick up the pace. Live your best life. Today is your day. All right. Give your shoulders a little roll forward. And then when you're ready, take it up. So an option here to sweep your arms up. Or you sweep them down. Bring them up and bring them down. All right, here we go, one more. Coming almost to that plank position. So we'll start in a modified position. Again, this is a great for a wall space if you require it, or the modification would be with a couch or your blocks. We're gonna take a wider stance though with our hands. So the rest of our body will remain the same, that plank position, but our wrists are going to go wider than our shoulders. And once we lower down, we'll be better able to see our alignment. And now it's not the end of the world, say our wrists and our elbows don't align, the joints. But for most of us, we do move around life, most people, without body awareness. We kind of just go about our daily motions finagling. So in practices of exercise or yoga, it's a great opportunity to tune into mindful movements and well-placed well body parts. Anyway, words are funny. Here we go. <laughs> Hands go wider than your shoulders, finding your either modified plank position, so on your knees, knees past the hips, slight tuck of the pelvis, back of the neck is long, slight down with the shoulders, or finding that plank position. But again, only difference, hands are wide. Here we go. Inhale to lower, bend your elbows out to the side. Avoid dropping your chest all the way. Press into your hands, lift your chest. Inhale to lower, bend. Exhale, press the ground away. Beautiful. Inhale, lower. Exhale to press, strong core. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Beautiful. Back of the neck is long. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Keep it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Come onto your knees. Bring your, open up your hips wide. Your hips will rest towards your heels. Your fingertips are gonna stay out in front. Bring your forehead towards the ground or come onto a block. If you're on your mat, if you're somewhere else, you can extend if you're near the wall. Just hold on to your space and extend your chest down. Just feeling a nice stretch in your shoulder. See what works great in your body wherever you find yourself, whether your hands are on blocks or you're on your couch. Just taking a moment, a mindful breath in, and a slow breath out. All right, when you're ready, you can lift up if you're not already. So breath to movement activity, great for a warm up, a cool down, an exercise routine in itself increasing reps and sets. You can go by timed, or just another fun little way to move your body throughout the day, if you're into that kind of thing. Anyway, thank you for letting me share. It's an honor and a pleasure. Have a great day.